What's up guys, welcome to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode eight. Let's take a quick look at before and after photos and then we'll do a quick walkthrough on what material we use for this bathroom remodel. Okay, we'll start with the floor. Installed was a six by 36 inch porcelain plank. We staggered this at 33%. We used a tile leveling system, Raimondi, for a flat superior install. We've got a 1 16th inch grout line here. The floor looks wonderful. We've got DeLorean gray for the color of the grout. Prism by custom is the grout we used, one of the best grouts out there. Installed a vanity. Top undermount sink with a brush nickel faucet. Mirror, decorative light, as well as three four inch cans in the ceiling. Installed a small vent fan as well. Of course, a new baseboard was installed, as well as a new toilet. Here's the shower. Turned out absolutely beautiful. Large format, 12 by 24 porcelain for the wall field tile. We staggered this at 50%, 1 16th inch grout lines. The color of the grout is bright white by Prism. Brushed nickel fixtures. Nice and symmetrical grout lines going up the middle. 13 inch by 13 inch niche square with a glass mosaic behind the niche. The trim used was Rondek by Schluter. Low profile quarter round, it's a PVC, very low maintenance. We trimmed the window with the Rondek Schluter as well. Here's the small bench for shaving or to stack shampoo bottles on. We've got Rondek here for the trim to cover the cut edges. Nice proper slope. Clean bevels here. We trimmed the curb out with the Schluter Rondek that has a nice slope as well. The pan tile is a sheeted marble mosaic. That turned out great. Installed a barn style rolling shower door. I'll leave a link in the description for the shower door. Fairly easy install, semi frameless, very smooth rolling action on the doors. And there you have it. Bath and shower tile ideas episode eight. If you have any questions regarding any of the material used on this build, please leave them in the link description below. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.